Are we live? Let me quickly check. And we are live. Welcome to yet another amazing session on Vedantu Young Wonders. And today we are going to do sprint for class 6. And the chapter name is going to be Algebra. I hope all of you are super duper excited. Yes. Quickly give me a yo in the chat box. Quickly give me a yo in the chat box. Hi Mona Lisa. Hi Secret. Hello, hello everybody. Good evening. I'm doing great. How are you? Hi Lavya. Hi Ismail. Hi Manha. Okay. Hello Anjali. Hi Abdul. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. Ma'am, speak a few words in Telugu. Hey, HK Tech Store. Ikkada kocha seva nuvu. Nenni comments chadvaya nakada. Another video kinda. Ya, itna, inta kopa menduku. Bye, bye. We will, we are right there to help you out. No. Okay, okay. Uh, how are you? My, I'm new, my friend. Tell me about this channel. That's amazing, Dipanshi. Thank you to you and your friend. So, chalo, let us get started. We are going to start the session with a quick dose of motivation. Self belief and hard work will always earn you success. And this is what our favorite cricketer Virat Kohli has told. Okay. Hello, Ismail. Hello. Hi, Manha. Chalo. Let us get started with the chapter then. Yes, all the grade 6 people. I can see 22 people live but only 10 likes. Q. Bye. Come on, I want all the 22 likes right now. Come on guys, hit the like button. Hit the like button. I guess Virat Kohli is my favorite cricketer. Can I say that? <laughs> Thank you, Manha. Chal. Let us get started. Yes, this is a very easy peasy chapter of your grade 6. So let us get started with algebra. So basically, uh, the main feature of algebra is it is that branch of mathematics which does not use, it does use numbers but along with the numbers it also uses letters. So use of letters will allow us to write rules and formulas in general way. So this, this thing you're seeing here, x plus 1, x multiplied with y minus 2, all of this is algebra. So in algebra, it is that branch of mathematics which deals with letters and alphabets. How many math sticks do you need to make, uh, make these many L's? So you can see that to make one L, you need two math sticks, right? So to make two L's, how many math sticks do you need? You need four math sticks. To make three L's, how many math sticks do you need? You need six math sticks and so on. So if I have to make n number of math sticks, sorry, n number of L's, how many math sticks do I need? Two multiplied with n number of math sticks, I will be needing. Hi Sanskriti, hello. Hi Srihita, yes but I remember you. Hi Naira. Exactly, very well done. So if you want to make n number of math sticks, we are going to write a general rule out of it. 2n is a general rule. Your n can be anything. If you want to make 20 l's, your number of l's is 20. So how many math sticks do we need? 2 multiplied with n, that is 2 multiplied with 20, which is 40 math sticks we will be needed. Hi, expert shot. Hello. You know Telugu? Very nice. We have started a new Telugu channel on Vedantu. It's called Vedantu Telugu. Just type it. You will get the channel. Do check out. Okay. Bonjour, Seema Sharma. Hi, Bushra. Hello. Chalo. Okay. Chalo. Let us get started with the next topic, which is what is a variable? A variable is a very important part of algebra. It is a symbol which functions as a placeholder for varying expressions and quantities. Basically, variable can be any alphabet between your A to Z. Any alphabet between your A to Z and the value of the variable is not fixed. 
it depends from uh, from uh, expression to expression quantities to quantities right so here 10 10 is equal to 2x x is called as the variable now where is this variable used it is used in geometry to write the perimeter of a square a plus a plus a plus a we write it as 4a see we're using a variable now here is a the value of a is fixed it's not fixed your a can be 1 2 3 4 5 and so on now what about the perimeter of a rectangle it is 2 into l plus b your l and b what are they they are nothing but your variables right now but then we have our algebraic expression now how is an algebraic expression formed when we combine variables constants using operators you are forming an algebraic expression now what are operations here addition multiplication division and subtraction so 6 is a constant number your variable can be any alphabet between your a to z and these are your operators so with the help of all of this you're forming an algebraic expression hi chaitanya uh, ma'am algebra 7 or 8 mein bhi yes chirag you have it in class 7th 8th also and these basics will be super duper important then. Okay? Okay? Chalo. Now, how to find the value of an expression? For example, you have an expression 4 multiplied with a plus 4. Now, how do you find the value when you substitute different different values for the variable a? Now, if I substitute a is equal to 2. So, what will be the value of the expression 4 multiplied with 2 plus 4? That is equal to 24. Now, if I substitute my a is equal to 1, what will be the value 4 multiplied with 1 plus 4, which is equal to 20. So, depending upon the value of the variable, the entire value of the expression keeps changing. Understood? Quickly give me a U in the chat box, everybody. Did you understand the value of an expression? Yes? Hi, Raj Shaker. Good evening. Yo? Amazing. Amazing. Very easy peasy, no? Okay. Let's move forward and talk about algebraic e equation. Now, we know what is an expression, right? Now, let's talk about an equation. Now, again, if I take a coefficient, now coefficient is a constant number which gets multiplied with a variable. Okay? So, when you have any number multiplied with a variable or a set of variables, this is called as a numerical coefficient of y square or y or z. Okay? It's called as a numerical coefficient. Now, 4 is the coefficient of x. x is a variable. We have an operator. We have constant. Now, what is an equation which has an equal to symbol? It has a left hand side and it has a right hand side. So, what is this difference between an equation and an expression? In an expression, you do not have an equal to symbol. 4 in square plus 7 is an expression. It is not equal to anything. If I say that 4 in square plus 7 is equal to 11, then you can see an equal to symbol. You can see a left hand side here and your right hand side. Right? So, this is an equation. Okay? What is minus 7? Abdul, here minus 7 is a constant. Okay, it's a constant value. Guys, please remember your constants can be integers. It can be a rational number. It can be a fraction. It can be a decimal, a whole number, uh, an irrational number. It can be anything. 
it can be a natural number any of this can be called as a constant what is a coefficient coefficient is a constant which gets multiplied with a variable for example minus 7 by 2 i am multiplying it with x square so what is the coefficient here minus 7 by 2 okay expression we don't have lhs and rhs yes isha you are right yes it can be mixed fraction also 3 1 by 2 y square it can be like this as well okay abdul did you understand here now how do we find the solution of an equation now there are methods like transposing method balancing method but that you will learn in grade 7th and grade 8th in grade 6th what do you have you have something called as a trial and error method but what exactly is the solution of an equation now if i have an equation a plus 14 is equal to 23 now you have to check for which value of this variable your left hand side and right hand side are equal to each other so when i substitute my a is equal to 9 I am getting 9 plus 14, 23. And RH is also is 23. So your left hand side is equal to your right hand side. So I can say that A is equal to 9 is the solution of what? Of the equation A plus 14 equals to 23. Understood everybody? Yes. Understood? Very easy. I think algebra is difficult but it is not. It is definitely not, bacha. Definitely not. Geetika, yes, we will have menti, bacha. We will have menti. Chal. Now, let us talk about how to find the solution of an equation. Now, you have an equation 5p plus 2 equals to 7. Now, in grade 6, you only have your trial and error method. Okay. So what is trial and error method? You keep trying different different values for that variable. You put your variable p is equal to 0. You put p is equal to 1. p is equal to 2. p is equal to 3 and so on. Till your left hand side becomes equal to your right hand side. Here they are not equal. Here also they are not equal. When your p is equal to 2 also they are not equal. But when your p is equal to 3, you can see that the left hand side and right hand side are equal to each other. Trial and error is your favorite? <laughs> I know, I know. Just take from the options and substitute, right? I used to do that a lot. Anyways, so let us get started and solve few questions. The length of the rectangular hall, okay, what are they telling? That the length of the rectangular hall is 4 meters less than 3 times the breadth of the hall. How do you form an expression here? Face on, amazing, congratulations, this is shukriya, aww. Ansh, thank you so much. Thank you so much. You just made my day. Thank you and all the best for your exams also. Rock it like this. Yes, secret has got it right. The length of the rectangular hall is 4 meters less than 3 times the breadth of the wall. Do we know the breadth of the wall? No, we'll take it as B. 4 less than 3 times the breadth is your length. Now, what are they asking? They are asking, what is the length if the breadth is B meters and what is the perimeter? So, what is the perimeter formula for a rectangle? 2 into L plus B. Now, what is your L? You can write your L as 3B minus 4 plus B. Correct? So, you can take this as 3B plus B, 4B minus 4. You take your 4 common, 2 multiplied with 4. And what do you have? 
B minus 1. So you have eight of B minus 1. Okay. So the length is 3B minus 4. And what is the perimeter that they are asking? They are asking us to find the perimeter. That is 2 into L plus B. 2 into 3B minus 4 plus the breadth. Easy peasy. So on simplifying, you will be getting it as 8 of B minus 1. You can take your 4 common, Isha. Don't forget, you can take your 4 common here. Theek hai? All good, everybody? If you haven't liked the video yet, do not forget. I can see 30 people live. Kaha hai mere 30 likes? Kaha hai mere 30 likes? Chalo. The next question is on your screen. Bini spends rupees A daily and saves rupees B per week. What is her income for two weeks? Now, in two weeks, how many days do we have? We have 14 days. Now, let's talk about her spending. Okay, let's talk about her spending. In one day, she spends A rupees. So, how many days are there in two weeks? We have 14 days in two weeks. So, how much will she be spending? 14A. Don't write it as A14. Write it as 14A. Okay? Okay? Now, now how much is she saving? Let's talk about her savings. Let's talk about her savings. Now, for one week, in one week, she's saving B rupees. So, how many weeks do we have here? We have two weeks. So, how much money is she saving? She's saving two B rupees. What is her income for two weeks? Your income, please always remember this. This is just general knowledge. Income is always spending plus savings. When you add them, you will be getting your income. How much is she spending? 14A she is spending. How much is she saving? She is saving 2B. So you take your 2 common. It is 7A plus B. Understood everybody? Hi, uh, Bhivita, Bhivitu. Hello, no problem. BP Gaming, hello. No worries, even if you are late, you can always watch the replay on YouTube. Hey na? Very good, everybody understood? Chalo. The next question is on your screen. The area of the rectangle is given by the product of its breadth and length. That is something we all know. What do we know? That area is equals to length multiplied with the breadth. The length of the rectangle is two-third of its breadth. Now remember, please remember this, two-third is two by three of the breadth. Now find its area if breadth is x centimeters. So they're telling that your breadth is equal to x centimeters. So instead of writing b, I will write x centimeters. Now what is area? Length multiplied with the breadth. So, length is 2 third of B. So, 2 by 3 X multiplied with what is your breadth? It is already given in the question which is X. So, the answer is what? What is the answer? 2 X square by 3. It's not. Yeah, 2 third of B. Correct, correct, correct. Very good. So, it is 2 by 3 X square. Or 2x square by 3 centimeter square. Please don't forget to write the unit. Okay. Less people is so nice because you can speak to you. <laughs> yes, Deepika. Awesome. Come on, quickly give me a yo in the chat box. Did you guys understand this? Can we move further? Definitely, Ansh, you will definitely get 80 on 80. And you will come tell me, ma'am, I got 80 on 80. 
माई ब्लेसिंग ऑलवेज विथ यू गेस चल Finally, it is a week quiz time. Where can you find the link for the week quiz if you ask me? So as you can see, go to this video that you're watching right now. उसके description, उसके description box में you will be able to find the link. See, look at this. Are you able to see the link here? Week quiz link in the description box. क्लिक ऑन दिस लिंक एंड दैट्स इट चलो मैं अपने खुद के वीडियो पे लाइक दबा देती हूँ मैं चलो 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 हरी अब टिल देन लेट मी क्विकली रीड द चैट योर आई गोट एडियन एटी दैट्स आसम सीक्रेट चलो 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 हरी अब एवरीबॉडी क्विकली जॉइन द वीक क्विज आई कैन सी टू पीपल हैव ऑलरेडी जॉइन और यू कैन डू वन मोर थिंग गाइज Take, open a separate tab if you are working on if you are you know studying from a laptop or any iPad or device, any other device apart from your phone. Open a new tab. Type we quiz dot i n. ठीक है यहाँ पे we quiz dot i n and enter. Okay. Now here it is asking for a code. What is the code? Two two eight zero three four. Two two eight zero three four. Come on, hurry up. Two two eight zero three four. Eleven people have already joined. Hurry up. Are you ready? Quick, quick, quick. I will start in 5 4 3 2 1 and go chalo the first question is on your screens everybody 9 taken away from the sum of x and y is pavitra fast ma'am fast only solve it's an easy peasy one Nine taken away from the sum of x and y. Very good, guys. Nine taken away from the sum of x plus y. So it is x plus y minus nine. Please remember that. Okay. And let us look at the leaderboard. We have Lavya, Ansh, Kritishna, and Chaitanya. Rest all zero points. So I am not going to read your name. Better luck next time. Confusing? Acha, no problem. Amlan, ah, uh, open a new tab or open this link in incognito. Copy paste this link in incognito mode. Maybe you will get it. The coefficient, sorry, the quotient of x by y divided by the product of x multiplied with y. Is written as come on, easy peasy. Okay, okay, very well done. The quotient of x by y is nothing but x by y added to the product of x and y. मतलब x by y plus x multiplied with y. Will give you option number B, and we have Kritishna leading the leaderboard. Then we have Lavya, Chaitanya, Nana, Aditya, Ansh, Gitika, and Annie. Next question on your screens, everybody. Think of a number, multiply it by five, add six to the result. 
subtract y from the result what is the result take the number to be x okay think of the number to be x multiply it with 5 add 6 to it and subtract y from the result very good very good everybody so 5x plus 6 minus y will be the correct answer very well done Bohati zaga easy chapter hai algebra. There's nothing to worry about here. Lavya, Nana, Chaitanya, Kritishna, Aditya, Geetika, Annie, Ansh. Very well done. Kara, aaj bhi apne bohat jaldi quiz start kar diya to mein nahi aapai. Mera phone mein split screen nahi hota hai. आयो संस्कृति एक बार आप मुझे बोल के जाते हैं ना तो मैं रुक जाती एक बार आप अगर मुझे बोल के जाते हैं तो मैं रुक जाती सो सॉरी बच्चा सो सॉरी मुझे भी बुरा लग रहा है पर नेक्स्ट टाइम से आई विल वेट ठीक है आप प्लीज बोल के जाना कि हाँ मैम मैं हूँ बस मुझे दो तीन मिनट दो मैं जल्दी से Okay, chal. The rule uh, which gives the number of matchsticks required to make the pattern A is. Guys, kya ho raha hai yaha pe? Huh? A banane ke liye we need 1, 2, 3 matchsticks. To make 1 A, we need 3 matchsticks. Agar mujhe 2 banane hai, mujhe chahiye 6 matchsticks. So if I have to make n number of A's, I need 3 into n number of matchsticks. It is 3n, not 2n. It is 3n matchsticks. Okay? Nahi aaraha hai. Uh, Amla, nek bar phir se aap try karo, bacha. Either go to the website, go open a new tab and type wequiz.in and use the code 228034. मैं आपको एक बार जल्दी से दिखा देती हूँ। ऐसे देखो, open a new tab, ठीक है? तो यहाँ पे आप टाइप करना 